What's up, YouTube? My name is Wildboy76, back with another episode. Today's episode is going to be some dungeon quests. Now, this is a really fun game. The way this game is played, you go through multiple dungeons, and you fight off a bunch of mobs. Now, I have been playing this game for quite a bit of a while. As you guys can see, I'm a level, one, level 117. Now, I... Don't do that much damage compared to what an actual level 117 is supposed to because, as you can see, I have not upgraded my armor too much. And neither have I have done my weapon. My weapon is like the most lowest one I have ever done, and that's not good. Let's go ahead and sell some trash that I don't need. Try to get a little bit more cash. So it, the way this game is played is basically you go through different dimension dungeons, like I said. But the one important thing is you need to pay attention to either it's saying maiden or warrior. Now I'm a maiden, and a maiden is spell user, so I can use spirit bomb and smite. Can't do that yet. I gotta equip something. I don't equip that because I need to level up more. Damn, that didn't go up much. But the way this game is basically is is you gotta pay attention to that kind of stuff because if you don't and you just go all straight into health like I did when I first started off, it was a complete distraction. I couldn't do anything. Now in this video, I will be farming some cash because I need to upgrade my armor a lot much better. But the way this game has been so far, it's been really fun. It's just playing on phone is a little bit more trickier because the buttons are smaller. And your jump button is literally in front. is literally blocked by other things and... That's just so damn stupid. It needs to be moved up to the top instead of being sitting at the bottom. Because I'm fine with this thing being at the bottom more than anything. Eh. I'm fine with that being more at the bottom than the top. Now, with Spirit Bomb, I could do two point something billion. So I can one-shot all these people. Now, for being a high level like this, it's decent. Because you can farm for cash quickly. And this game is called Gold. But the way the game has been so far, it's been a real big challenge. I was surprised I defeated that boss so quickly. It's been a challenge. It's not easy. It's not a good way to waste some time because when you're first starting out, you're really asking a lot of people to help you. Once you get those few levels on and some really good weapons, and once you hit at least a level 30, you can start carrying yourself on the lower quests than where you need to be. Right now where I stand, I cannot help myself in... The newer maps. I could do one of them, but that's only insane mode, and I can't do nightmare mode because I would die way too fast, the time would drain too fast, and I would not be able to stand a chance. Now, I really did not think I would be able to wipe through all those bosses so quickly. But the way this game has been. I'm really hoping in the future they will add more decent ways to level up, like for wave defense. After every 15 waves, you get more, a little bit more XP. And after a certain amount of waves, like let's say you get to wave 300, and you're doing canals. You get twice as much more than if you would do a normal run. Like, I want to see those kind of things, because right now, there's no easy way to level up. Right now, the only way to level up 
is by continuing doing the same progress over and over, even though it will be the slowest progress. Now, doing the slowest way is better off than trying to do the dungeon on your own and dying several times waiting for the loading screen to pop back up so you can relaunch the dungeon. Now, doing wave defense, if you die, that's the only life you get. And the normal runs, you could set up as in nightmare mode and put on hardcore. You only get one life, but you get two loops. Now, hardcore needs to be changed to where it's two times the XP as well. Because if it's two times the XP in a hardcore and two times the loot, it's a lot better because then you can get more levels going. Instead of looking at it like it's not really worth it. Wow, I just really one shot that boss. And I got trash. Well, I'll sell that. But the way this game has been treating me so far, it's been pretty decent because early on, you're not sure what you want to go with. So you start switching back and forth from being a maiden to being a warrior. Now, being a warrior has its good part and its downfall. Being a mage, your damage will not appear so high until later on. Now, being a warrior, your damage will appear a lot quicker, but you will have to take more damage because you're coming in too close to take that damage off of your enemies. But the way it is, the way it is with levels, I don't like it too much. It's more like, it's tedious. It takes too long. I get that's the point of the game. But at least have a better way to farm stuff, like gold and XP. Like, let's say you have like a lot, a lot, a lot of gold, but you have nothing to spend it on because your armor and your weapons are all max. And you got all the best ones in the game, including the legendaries. And they're all at max. Well, at that point, the only thing you can really do is just hope for the next map to release so you can get the more newer things and waste your money there. But the, what the game really needs more than XP and everything else is a shop place where you can buy items from the shop and get what you need out of it. Like let's say you wanted to buy a legendary. The legendary will be two times more worth. Than getting it out of the dungeon. Because it would be a lot much more farming on gold. But if you have like a lot of gold. Then you could easily get it. But that's just my say. Now the way the creator has gone so far. It's been pretty decent. But for, like, items in the store for only looks is not really the best idea because when you buy them, you're paying actual Roblox. You're not wanting to go for looks. You're hoping for to actually give you stuff that's actually really, really good to you. Like, to give you a legendary sword that you can't get anymore because it's only limited edition. Now, these are only equipments to make your character look a lot much better. Now, I don't like that idea, but it's up to the creator of whether or not they're going to do anything else. Now, so far, what the creator has done with the game... No, I've, I've basically been going on a loop, haven't I? Just saying, basically, what the creator has done, what I have seen, what I've done. I've been going to the loop with that whole entire thing, but it's all true. What I've seen so far out of this game... Is definitely something else to level up with. Now, to level up, it's not easy. It's not fair. And it's not easy to get legendaries. Like, my friend DK... He's gotten a legendary from the map that I'm in, and he got it in his first run. Now, I've joined several lobbies with 30-plus players in it, 
and still have not gotten anything good but this mythical armor. Now, I'm still trying to get the helmet, but we'll see how long that takes. Because I'm still trying, and it's not that easy to get these stuff. Because you need a lot of people, or do it by yourself a lot, a lot of times. And I'm still not capable of doing that, as I said before. Now, if I could figure out the best way to level up level up for gold, then that would be really neat. But the game has not added too many ways to get gold. The only way that's really good to get gold is by literally just doing doing canals over and over once you hit level 115. Now, that's a little tedious because I don't like having to keep farming the same level just to get more gold. Now, I've tried before trying to find out from others if they have any extra trash that they can give me. Anyone who does doesn't want to give it because they want something in return, but yet it's just trash. You're not going to want it anymore, and if you have too much cash, you might as well hand it over to someone else who could use it more. Now, the way this game is and has been, it's decent. Keeps me occupied for quite a bit of time. I'm not running around looking for a good game after playing it for several minutes. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm, I'm enjoying the game really much. It's just a matter of fact of... Once you're so high level, the gold starts coming so hard. Like, if, if you're a really low level and you have a first account who's really high level, you give, like... Two to three trash to your other level was really low. That's like 105, 110, stuff like that. And that account will be set all the way until level level 60 on upgrading everything because they got so much. Now, I've tried to collect legendaries, but every time I collect them, I end up selling them off because I get too damn greedy and don't think for a second... Hey, wait a minute. I'm collecting these. Why am I selling them? Like, so far, I've gone, gotten three legendaries. Two of them from the same area. Well, I've actually gotten four. Two of them from the same area. Two other from the other area. And I have sold every single one of them. I never thought once. I should save it, because I'm trying to collect them. Nope. I'm like, ah, it's too weak. I'll go ahead and see who else wants it. I didn't think for a second to sell it for all for the gold. Because the one I've got before, the last one I had before, was a level 97. And it was maxed out. With how much gold that was going to give me, I could have completely upgraded one of my armors all the way to max. Or one of my weapons to max. And be doing way more and more damage. But I was too damn stupid. Because I was like, ah. Let's see what I can get for it. Traded it off and got a bunch of trash. That I ended up finding out. It wasn't worth it. Because it's hard to get. It's not easy to use. And it doesn't do that great of damage. The one best tip I can give for anybody who's just starting out for this game. And they know what, what they're going to be. Your armor, when you upgrade it, does two times the damage every ten. No, five times the damage every ten. And that's a lot. Because right now, my armor is doing more of the work. If I de-equipped any of these, I, wouldn't not, I would not do any damage to these guys. Because my armor is doing more of the work. If I want to equip my whole entire armor set, I would not be doing this much damage. Which, I like that out of the game. Your armor is actually basically useful when you all the way upgrade it. Most people who's just starting out starts to spend all of their money onto health because their health is so damn low. Well, that's not the case because if you do that, you're gonna 
waste the perfect mage or warrior armor and you wasted money on the armor like if you got a mythical armor and you're like a level 180 well level 118 and you're still doing the same tactics you did when you're a level one wasting it all in the health there are certain armor classes for that they're called tanks and being a tank gets you so much more arm so much more health than anything but your damage and everything else is being sacrificed so you're a tank only sacrificing for heals now I'm I don't like being a warrior I'd rather be a maid where I can do a lot of damage instead of being the lowest damage user and only be a heal because let's say everybody in the whole entire server end up dying you're the last one alive what is your choice? Either equip your maid armor or deal with the fact that you don't have any because you went full tank. Now you could literally put every skill point into health, but that also would be pointless unless if you're going for tank. And tanks users cannot... Did I... See, a warrior helmet. Warrior helmet compared to mage has different high levels on damage now as low levels when you start out you don't see the upgrades too much worth it because you're low level but that upgrade to your armor will help a lot more now I'm not sure exactly of what the hell to do for good cash like see this guy right here this guy right here in front of me he has a legendary from the area I want, so... Eh, never mind. I was gonna ask him if he could give me some garbage, but I don't give a shit anymore. Everybody in this game is greedy, they don't trust anybody, and one thing really important for everybody who's just joining in or just coming back to this game, do not, and I repeat, do not ever give your only armor set to anybody who says they'll upgrade it for you all the way to max unless if you know them personally because otherwise you'll be in the worst position ever they'll take your stuff they'll run out of the server and they'll act like nothing happened because they didn't do anything uh, I'll show you ghostly for this last section because I'm almost done this video is just more tip and tricks of how to play this game because the way this game is it's really confusing at beginning because when I first started out this game I did not know a single idea of what the hell I was supposed to do now I have an understanding of it where I can share it to you guys and if any of you guys are out there looking for to get a legendary and you don't want to buy it off of someone else. Farm the most easiest dungeon you can. And it has to be on nightmare mode. If it's not on nightmare mode. Nightmare and hardcore. You're not going to get any. Hardcore just increases your chance. And nightmare mode increases the chance. Of getting one. Because it only drops in nightmare mode. If you try to do this all out of nightmare mode. You're not going to make it. You're not going to get anything because out of nightmare mode, it's not in there. Nightmare mode is the only possible way for you to get any of it. Now, I have not gotten one out of it yet because I have not tried too much trying to get one because it takes too much work. And the more people you have on your server, the more ch higher chances you can get one. Now, what I've done so far to test it out was ask many people who has gotten a legendary and has no point of using it anymore. Now, I've got several legendaries from everybody else, but the only legendary I collected by myself was Winter Outpost, and it took me 57 tries on Nightmare Mode Hardcore. 57 tries. That took me over three hours or so and I was only a level one f 
I was only on level 105. Now, that did not help out so well, knowing how little damage I could do to that. Now, if I would have known that would have been the case, I would have stopped right then and then and got a bunch of people, but I did not know that. Now, I've heard from other streamers saying you can get legendaries from from wave defense. Now, that is not 100% true because I have tried it several times and I have not completely got any. I have tried it many times. So many times I can't even remember anymore because I've literally done it three other times on the same one and did not get one. And you have to get past 300 is what a streamer told me. Now I've got past 300, still nothing. I went to 400, still nothing. So I decided to keep pushing it because maybe he got lucky getting at 300. I turn out... After meeting with some friends on Xbox, they completely said that's completely a lie because you can't get that unless if you're in nightmare mode. Damn, these bitches are all in my ass. Jeez. Now, the one thing, if you're about to head into canals, make sure your health, your stamina up, is at 125. And leave it that way for the rest of the game. Because you're going to need that much health. Now, a lot of people who are just healers ends up putting more into it, like 50. But I recommend 25 just to start off with for canals. Now, you can put in more as it sees. Who do you think we were?